Hi family, thanks for watching. I'm taking a quick break right now from doing a few projects around the house, uh, building some steps to a uh, chicken coop that we are uh, hoping to build in the near future. It's projects always around the house. Anyway, uh, I was just working around the yard and my brain of course is going off on its little tangents. And it got me thinking about a comment that someone left recently, which was really awesome in one of our previous videos, which I will link, uh, I think it goes there. And uh, it was by Harry Dunn. And the one thing that really stood out to my husband and I was the comment about having a community to work with essentially. And you know, with nuke season around the corner, I figured this would be an excellent time to kind of share my thoughts that I was having on this uh, hillside here. <laughs> we started getting interested in bees uh, nearly four years ago now, but we didn't get bees right away for a multitude of reasons. Uh, I got pregnant, life kind of happened. The one thing that we did know that we wanted to do when we started was join our local beekeeping group. Reason being is because we knew no matter how much research we did, there are always going to be little things that you can't know that you don't know, or there'll be things unique to your area that only a local bee group can help you with. When we first got our bees from actually our local beekeeping group, we joined up and signed up for the year and we were very blessed that we ran into somebody who kind of had a like-minded spirit towards the bees as we did. And she's been fundamental in helping us uh, through the few years that we've had bees. So I don't know if she wants to be shout out in our YouTube video, but I will just say if she is watching, you've been phenomenal and we love you. Now, one of the first things we learned from our beekeeping group was the location that we had researched we thought we wanted a kind of flat space away from the house and we got the tractor out here and dug out this area thinking it would be the perfect spot. It gets nice shade during the summer to help keep the bees cool. It would help protect from snow and rain because of the direction that we are in the mountain. However, it was explained to us during the winter this part of the property wouldn't get enough sun and the bees really need the sun to know when to start hyping up and going into spring or when to go out and make their cleansing flights and everything so we ended up readjusting our location to where it currently is because even though to a convenience level for us, this was the most perfect spot for the bees. They needed something that was in a better location that gave them more sun. The reason we selected this spot was because it gets a lot more of the morning sun. That nice warming sun that tells the bees to start to go out and play. The one advantage we didn't anticipate of this spot was that we can see our bees from our living room window and especially during our first year that was fundamental in us being able to observe them from what we felt was a safe distance and get a feel for the behavior of our bees. The disadvantage of course of this spot is that there's not a lot of room for growth. When we put our two hives in originally it was perfectly situated for them but as we've grown we found we have to readjust the fence line and everything and even dig some of the hillside out to accommodate more hives. Another thing too that we didn't consider as new beekeepers doing all this research is starting with two hives. The advantages to that you know we thought it's going to cost a lot of money let's just start with the one but the advantages of having two hives is twofold. One, you can kind of judge the behavior of your hives against each other to factor in what seems normal and what isn't. As well, if for any reason one hive gets weak, you can borrow resources from, an, from the healthy hive to the weaker hive. Yeah, so as a new beekeeper, there is so much to pay attention to and keep in mind. And obviously as new beekeepers ourselves, we can't really give you advice on all of that. We can just share what we found. 
But the one biggest thing that I feel like we would want to stress is get yourself a community, a community that you can actually talk to in person, um, that I can actually come and look at your hives and help you out. While a lot of the times our conversation with our mentor was just, oh my God, does this look normal? You know, it's a bit like having a newborn baby. It's just, you're new to everything. You don't know the personalities of your hive and you don't know what is normal <laughs> and what is abnormal. And we don't really talk about the community that helps us off screen, but you know, we also too have a lot of people that come together to help us be successful. It's not an individual experience for us. Uh, and I know a lot of people who do work on their own and um, kudos to them. Uh, I don't think we could manage it with all the things that we do. I'll get back to building my steps and uh, talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.